Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Beyond. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded Minecraft world. We're doing all of the cool things, hanging out with all the cool people. Thank you so much for all the feedback on the last episode. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, just wanted to take a minute to, uh, to come out here to the end because we... Uh, Hey, you, stop that. Um, we came out here and we upgraded this thing. You can see that we have a tier two controller. Tier two controller was actually pretty easy to make. The only thing that we really were lacking was uh, was the diamonds. So uh, if we come in here and, whoops, if we come in here and we type in uh, solar uh, array, this thing here, the solar panel controller tier two, um, it just takes one, it takes two of the tier one solar panels. So we made an extra one of those. I think we actually did that on camera a couple episodes ago, but we needed four blocks of diamonds and we only had, I don't know, 18 or 19 diamonds. So I had to let the, uh, the, the miners run for a while and, and get me a steady stack of, uh, uh, steady stock of, of diamonds, uh, to go ahead and finish that up. But uh, once we got the diamonds, that was super easy to do. Uh, so we are now running tier two and, uh, just to show you what this thing is capable of right this is full this is completely full right now it's you know going between 20 rf below and 20 rf above but check this out watch how fast this thing fills up boom check that out we're gaining 3500 anywhere between 2500 and 3500 rf per tick and this thing is filling up in a hurry so awesome sauce i love it to pieces we'll go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need that extra one here um at some point we're probably going to go ahead and expand this a little bit so that we get a tier two um <clears throat> tier two ore miner as well as a uh, as well as a resource miner out here but uh, but let's head back to the base last episode we worked with some stuff in applied energistics we did some uh, some um, automatic ore processing right we uh, we set up our hello uh we set up our um sag mills and alloy smelters so that they would have uh, have their own importers and exporters and and automatically uh, send things in like this one right here this one's doing pulverized aluminum so as we get aluminum in it goes to one of the sag mills over there and gets turned into a pulverized aluminum and then it comes over here and uh, automatically gets smelted into the ingot and let me show you what we've got here so ingots we're doing we're doing just fine <laughs> we've got uh, what 1800 gold ingots we've got uh, 12,000 iron ingots we've got 6,000 copper we've got 3,000 aluminum we're doing very very well we even got 2256 yellowite uh, yellorium ingots which means we probably could get going on a big reactor at some point if we wanted to which we might do that we might put a big reactor maybe down here uh, next to the uh, next to the power supply building down there and uh, and that'll be our like overworld um, uh, power supply but the uh, the solar array is doing a, a splendid job everything is full on power like right here uh, that's full all of the uh, power cells that I have for my matter transmitter and matter receiver and everything those are all full all of my um, uh, all of my dimensional transceivers are full, so we're doing we're doing well on power now. It took us a long time to get here, but we're definitely doing well. So, what are we going to work on today? Well, in my inventory here, I've got some ME interfaces and I've got some molecular assemblers, right? I've been toying around with or, or piddling with how do I want to do this? And some of you have actually uh, we've had, there's actually been a few comments. Um, there's actually been a few comments that were made on the last episode. So I, I Marvin TPA and Elysium and R Silver Sorensen, uh, they all kind of chimed in and, and, and made some suggestions. Uh, uh, Silver Sorensen, he was talking about P2P uh, uh, tunnels, uh, P2P tunnels, which I probably will get into at some point in time. I'm not ready to get into that yet. Uh, mostly because I don't understand them. <laughs> um, well, well, I need to do some research on those and find out exactly how they work and everything like that. I know that uh, a few of you have made some comments on those before, so I'll go back and read through those comments and just make sure that I understand them before I really get involved in it. Uh, but uh, but I Marvin TPA and Elysium, they made some suggestions on how to set up um, my uh, my molecular assemblers, and so one of the ones, one of the ideas that was given was if you take a uh, an interface, right, and <clears throat> the interfaces are the only thing that count towards the channels. The molecular assemblers do not count towards uh, towards channel usage, and so uh, but you want to make sure that that you that each interface has multiple molecular assemblers to work from because if I've got nine recipes in here right 
If I've got nine recipes in here and each one of these interfaces is only connected to one molecular assembler, but I've got to have you know three or four of these things being crafted at the same time, I, it has to wait. And so that slows down the process, right? Uh, but if I take and put... Uh, if I take and put molecular assemblers, assemblers all the way around, now this one interface can craft four things at the same time, right? Because it can, you know, like if I had, if I had a, a recipe for logs into planks, planks into sticks, and sticks into ladders, right? It could essentially do all of those at the same time. It could it, it, it could send the first batch of logs over here to be turned into planks, and it could send the planks that over to here to be turned into the sticks. While it's still making more planks over here, it could send the uh, the sticks over here to be turned into ladders, and and so it could craft multiple things all at the same time. If I do it like this, where I have a uh, where I have an interface in the middle, I can I can craft on four sides, right? Because I can stack. Whoops, I can stack my interface is this way and if i bring one pot one cable to my interface all of these will be powered uh passively so i can i can bring power into this one interface and it will power all of the interfaces i think and it will also power i think it'll do that anyway and it should power all of the uh, molecular assemblers uh passively i i think now the other the other idea that now this was uh this was um, I Marvin TPA. The other uh, suggestion that we had. Oh no, I'm sorry. This was not I Marvin. This was Elysium, um, and so that's a possibility. The other possibility that we were given was something that looks kind of like this, and I and I kind of like this one here in 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 that it's it's definitely different. Uh, it's not it's not something that I have ever seen before. So if I do something like this, okay, there's four uh, there's four interfaces. And then I can come along with my molecular assemblers and I can do something like this. So if I put there, 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 and there, um, each interface loses, kind of, it, it kind of loses one of its uh, crafting sides, but I get much more potential out of my uh, channel capabilities, I think. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of struggling as to which one of these I want to do. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, um, Especially if I can put in, you know, all the the maximum number of speed upgrades and everything like that, and make this thing super super fast. This one has a lot of potential. The other one has potential too, and I've done I've done the other style before. Um, I just hadn't done it with the ones that I have because, you know, I'm just kind of throwing this stuff together a little bit as we go, so that we can get some auto crafting going rather than having it all uh, be perfect right now. So. What I'm thinking about doing is I think I want to go ahead and build uh, build at least one of these. Um, I was actually thinking about doing four of the other ones. Do one here, one here, one there, and one there. But if I do two of these, uh, if I do two of these several blocks tall, then we should be able to do a fair number, a fair bit of auto crafting in this uh, in this base um, with no issues whatsoever. So, whoops. So what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and, uh, and running some cables and getting this thing all built up. So I'm going to go ahead and do some auto crafting here. I've got, the, I've got all the recipes in here. So I'm going to get some interfaces made. Uh, we can make, uh, let's see if we're doing, if we're doing eight of those, that's what, 32? Uh, plus I have some already over there. I'm going to need to run some cable. I put an extra layer on the bottom of my base here. So now I've got a space down below where I can, where I can run some cables here which will be cool. Um, also, let me show you this before I get, before I turn you loose for this, this first upgrade. I, uh, I did this, uh, and I think I did this off camera. Um, I went ahead and ran one channel in here, got this all set up so that we've got exporters off of our uh, advanced inscribers and so forth, and then, uh, and then each one of these is powered as well. So we're in good shape here. We can auto craft those to our heart's content. Um, but what I want to do is I want to add some more of these uh, of these interface blocks. Uh, these I'm sorry, not interface blocks, but ME controllers. And I think what I want to do, I, I don't need a lot of channels. I don't need a, a ton of channels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a, a four by four by four by four square, but it's hollow in the middle. And that gives me something like 1,200 channels, right? So I'm going to craft up some more of these, and I'm going to craft up some more of, uh, uh, some more of our... Um, Whoops, stuck on a conduit. Uh, craft up some more of our assemblers and interfaces. And uh, while I'm away, I'm going to go ahead and get these towers set up. Probably, probably one here and probably one here. 
get those set up and then work on getting some cables underneath and also getting the uh, uh, the ME controllers set up so that I have enough places to hook my channels into uh, because we are definitely going to run out of room with just one. So let me go ahead and work on a few things here and I will come back to you and show you uh, a little bit of the progress. Okay, so this is kind of what we're looking at. I've got a uh, I've got one layer of this thing put into the floor. I'll do another layer over here. That way we get two banks of these things, right? Back here in the back room, I have uh, hooked up a uh, an ME controller uh, block. It's actually a three by three design. Four by four would have put it off center. Five by five is a little bit bigger than I want. I may end up going ahead and making it bigger later, but this actually works out pretty good for what we need. Um, so in the bottom, coming out the bottom in the center is the uh, is the inscribers, right? Coming out the top in the middle is going to be all of my sag mills and alloy smelters. Coming off of these two sides here, one here and one here, will be a dense cable of different colors that are going to come out here, and they're going to feed into this bank over here because this will be uh, eight blocks tall, so it'll be 32 channels. And then, right, eight eight, eight and eight, yeah, eight times four is 32. So, and then there'll be another one over here like this. Uh, but what I need to do right now is I actually need to make, uh, I actually need to make enough of these cables to, uh, uh, I actually need to make enough cables that we have, well, enough of the right color cables. So I want two of them that are gonna be this color and I want some that are gonna be orange. We'll just, that's the colors that we'll use for these channels, right? Whoops, not there. So boom and boom, okay. Uh, then, we want to go ahead and bring these off of here like this. So let's go ahead and put this one here. And I think this will be enough. Should be enough anyway. If I do that, if I do that, that should be fine. Um, see, if I go to the center, if I go there, if I go there, that probably would work. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to raise these up one layer. I think I'm going to raise these up one layer. That way, I can uh, I can branch off of this thing and get the right number of uh, the right number of channels to each side. So let's go ahead and tear this out like this. We'll go ahead and do it on that side and see how it's going to look. Because that would probably be just hunky dory. Eh? Um, Let's go ahead and put in some of these. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put in... Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and do that like that, right? Because each one of these can hold eight channels. So we'll do this like this, this like this, and that like that, right? And then if we come in here and put our four interfaces on each one of those, boom, 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 and boom. And then we put in our five... Uh, molecular assemblers like so are we getting channels on this thing yet I don't know if we are I think so are we showing any channels on this thing uh, oh yeah it says we're using four channels right so I'm gonna go ahead and get more of these things made it should be is it making more interfaces for me right now I think it is I N T E R. yeah made 20 of them for me I, I without upgrading the crafting storage I can only do about 20 of these at a time so we're gonna need to get that upgraded eventually too but uh, we'll go ahead and get some more of those made I'll go ahead and build this thing up taller I'll get the cable run for the other side and I'll come back and give you a little project update Okay, so we're waiting on a little bit of uh, auto crafting to finish up here, but uh, what we're making right now is some acceleration cards. I want to get all of the acceleration cards into those middle molecular assemblers right now because those are going to be hard to get to later. Um, they're not too resource intensive for what I've got right now because you know we've got the the void uh, resource miner and, or not the void resource but the void ore miner we've got the uh, the builder going in the built in the mining dimension and everything so what I want to do is I want to get these acceleration cards in here um, just on the ones in the middle because I, it, it is taking away some resources from what I have and and things are kind of crafting a little bit slow right now right. But there should be at least a couple of those made right now. So here's yeah, here's four. And let's kind of show you what we've got going on so far, and then we'll put the rest of them in. But here we go. So I put in a glass floor right here. So we can see the purple circuit over going over that way. We can see the orange circuit going over that way. We'll probably change these Fluix crystals out for the right color. We'll probably dye these. Uh, probably dye these the right color. Oh, that's the one that's making the... Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, actually, look at that. They're, they're, they're all making them. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So that might mean that they're all done. Are they all done? 
Yeah, they're all done. Cool. Uh, 14? Yeah, 16. There we go. So yeah, they're all done. Great. So, oh, no, not 16, though. I need more than that. I'm going to need a lot more than that, actually. Because uh, that's only going to put one in each one of these, and I actually want to do all five of them, because that will make it a whole lot faster. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's grab these and put them on this side, because I know that this one... Well, let's see. This one has recipes in it, right? Does this one? Yes. Does this one? No. Okay. Uh, what about over here? Which one? Does this one have recipe? No. This one? No. This one? No. So, yeah. So, if we put them in the center here for now, uh, that, will, that will speed that one up, and this will speed this one up. Uh, does this have recipes in it? No. Okay. Cool. Um... How many of these? I, how many of these do I have that have recipes in them? Let's see. Uh, okay, so here's all my molecular assemblers. Really, is that all the one? Is that all that I have? That can't be all that I have. But apparently, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had one, two, three, four. I had five. I had. Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. We're, I'm a little bit confused here now. <laughs> I had five auto-crafting... Uh, one, two, three, four... Yeah, I had four molecular assemblers. Each one had an interface on top. Each interface was full. Where'd all my recipes go? Where did all my recipes go? I didn't lose them, did I? Am I missing something here? Wait a minute. One, two, three... Yeah, that's enough to fill three molecular assemblers. Oh, there's more down here. Okay. All right. So there is more there. Okay. So something here. Oh, here's some right here. So we should put some in this one right here. Nope, not that one. Oh, yeah, that one. So we should fill that. We should put, whoops, we should put those in here. Cool. Uh, what about... So that takes care of that middle one. What about this one? Yeah, this one's got it too. So I'll need to make some more. Oh, wait, no, that's an interface. This one here. I'll need to make some more of these, um, and I'll go ahead and do that. But, uh, but yeah, this is good. This is turning out pretty good. Um, what we can do then is we can actually go ahead and do this. Uh, this one here we can definitely go ahead and do because that middle, that bottom one there has got all of the assemblers it needs or all of the upgrades that it needs. But, yeah, if we just kind of do this right here and... Boom, 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 and come out of there like this. And so, so that's what it's going to look like. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and it auto crafts like crazy. I mean, you saw. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and tell it to make some more of those upgrades because those upgrades are definitely needed. So, card. Uh, we want the acceleration card. How many of these do we need? Um, let's see, did I put? Uh, I probably shouldn't have done this. Let's go ahead and take these out, because I need to get to those center ones anyway. Oh, sure, it's going to rain. Of course it is. There we go. You know what we can do about that? We can make it stop raining, and then we'll continue on with this. Um, come on, wake up. There we go. So did I put, I put one in there, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times 5 is 35, minus 1 is 34. I know, I'm sure I can't make 34 of them at a time. Uh, acceleration card, 30, 4, next. Ooh, we don't have enough diamonds. Whoa, okay, so we're going to have to wait on diamonds, apparently. That's a, that's a bummer. How many diamonds do I have? Um, D-I-A-M. Oh, I've got 415 diamond ore. You know what we should do? We should set that up. Uh, you know what? Let's look at this for a second, because we might want to do this in such a way that we get more diamonds. Um, so uses on diamond ore. If we put it into a smelter, we get one diamond. If we put it into a crusher, we get dust. I do not want dust. Um, if we put it into an industrial grinder from Industrial Craft, right? Oh no, that's Tech Reborn. Uh, it gives us one, plus it gives a small pile of diamond dust. This grinder gives us two. The crusher gives us two diamonds. Uh, that gives us essentially diamond dust. 
alloy smelter is only going to give us one. Sag mill is going to give us one 100% of the time, and then there's a 25% chance of more. So I think this is probably the way we want to go. I think as we also we get some pulverized coal out of it, which is cool, which is helpful for some other things. Uh, that's only going to give us one. That's going to give us two. So yeah, I think that's probably the way we want to go. Let's go ahead and set this up so that we can get this turning into diamonds. Um, I think this one is my best choice. That's the octatic capacitor one. What do I got up here? That's got an octatic capacitor in it too. This one's got nothing in it, so I guess I could put it in this one. What do I have going to this one? Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and put it in there. There we go. So now it should start exporting our diamonds. Cool beans. Yep, there they go. So now we should be getting diamonds back over this way. Uh, diamond. Oh yeah, we're doing good. It's chopping them all up and giving us cool, cool diamonds. So yeah, well, once we get some more diamonds, we'll build some more of those speed upgrades. One other thing that we're going to have to get going on is uh, as a way to make Fluix crystals. So if you guys have a good, uh, a good method of doing that, uh, automating uh, the creation of Fluix crystals, I would be great, very grateful to hear that because I had to keep making these by hand. So we're going to need some kind of... Uh, uh, some kind of exporter, dropper, uh, vacuum chesty kind of way to to drop the fluix, uh, the the uh, the the redstone, the quartz, and the certus quartz, the charged certus quartz into water, and then have something pick them back up once it turns into fluix crystals. Because I mean, I'm sure there's a good way to do it, but I want to hear what you guys' advice is for that. But I think, folks, I think that that is going to do it for today. Um, can't really finish this up until I get some more diamonds, which they are crafting right now. But uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. And uh, we may talk about you live on the YouTube channel. Uh, let you let you know, give you a shout out for the idea and, and talk about whether it's going to work or not. And uh, and I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys' feedback. So thanks so much for watching again. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. A very special thanks to my Patreon support staff. If you'd like to become a Patreon patron, visit my page at www.patreon.com rb underscore plays to find out more details.